So having a variety of places and planting purposefully to create um, a hiding place for the birds, give them some shelter and some security really helped attract a pretty wide variety. I have several areas where you can see bird feeders are concentrated and they're different kinds of feeders because different birds like different platforms. Some of them like to grab onto something like a, uh, something that they can really get their claws into and then other ones don't really perch very well so they'd be more likely to land in a platform feeder like a cardinal would enjoy going in there. And so to have a variety as well as a variety of food that helps attract uh, different birds. I chose this feeder because it the selling point is that it's good for birds, who, they're very light, but when something like a raccoon, a chipmunk, or a squirrel comes on it, the weight of that creature closes it up so they can't get to the, to the seed. This is filled typically all winter with suet, which is a huge attraction for woodpeckers and uh, birds all birds really. It has niger seed in it, which is very uh, attractive to pretty birds called finches, but they do not like a crowd and they don't like to be around other birds. So having the finch feeder in a more isolated place gives them a place, they travel in a flock and it gives them a place to rest and find something good to eat. And for the for your investment, the best all-around seed to attract a pretty good variety of birds is to get a sunflower seed because a lot of birds like it. The smaller birds don't have a beak that's strong enough to crack open a seed like that. So in one of my other feeders, I have uh, another choice for them. But for the most part, m most of the birds that come to my yard will be here because of the sunflower seeds. A lot of people in suburbia don't have the luxury of big trees. So the first thing you do when you move into a new house, if you like birds, is you buy a tree and you know it's going to mature. And this one is over 20 years old and it's become a blessing for the birds. It's a great place for them to hide and perch. It's been important to keep these bushes, even though they're, they're kind of shaggy looking, because this is a perfect hiding place for a lot of the small birds. Birds are not gonna to come to your yard if they feel like they're vulnerable. A low bush like this that's really thick in the summer is a great hiding place for the birds. And as you can see, this the tree next to it has long branches that, that, but it's kind of a hidden environment. The perfect backyard for birds has food when your feeders are empty and it has uh, several elements. And one of the most important elements is to have native plants. And one of the best ones to plant, which gives you a year-round benefit, is a, is a coneflower. Because they're pretty in the summer, um, the birds do like to perch on them, but in the winter when everything is dead, if you don't cut those flowers down, it will be a constant source of seed for birds. And I often see the finches sitting on top of the, of the coneflowers feeding during the winter.